Good morning, good morning, good morning. Coming to you from Patty Thailand, my friend. All aboard the dream. Just past that Dulian place back there. If you're into Dulian, Durian, however you want to say it. That's a major Dulian spot back there. I'm not a big fan of Dulian. Uh, maybe I'll go over there and take you for a tour of that place. But eating durian is just not my cup of tea. So I'm just out and about seeing what's going on in the hood. About to get uh, run over here. Let this gentleman go on about his way. Just out and about on the motorbike. Today's a Monday morning here in the beautiful patio of Thailand. Come a little bit of a rain yesterday. Cool things off just a little bit. Maybe head over to Soy Bacow because there's a little, little restaurant I need to go eat at. About a million little restaurants in this town. But there's one spot I gotta scope out. I gotta go over there and talk to a friend of mine if she's around and see what's shaking. And she won't be around till later, but I said, okay, let me just let me just take a ride, take a reading, see what's going on up in the 20150. Wow, pretty lady. Lady in orange. Yeah, folks, good to be home. Good to be back in Patia. Missing my kids. They're doing okay. Maria didn't have school today. I guess because it's May 1. What is it? Uh, what is this? Labor Day? Anyhow, whatever it is, she didn't have school. And I think here the banks are closed today. I'm not sure about the government buildings. I think, think somebody said immigration is still open, but the banks are closed. So a little mini holiday. Big beautiful 7-Eleven, looks like the Love Boat. That's my new name for that place, that's the Love Boat. Right next to my motorbike repair shop here off to the left side of the aircraft. You need your motorbike repaired. I mean, there's one of a million little shops here, but I take my motorbike there because I bought it from that same dealership, so they've always done the service. They always do a good job for me. If you got any major work to do, uh, they do accept credit cards over there, debit cards, so you don't got to go to the ATM and pull out a bunch of cash. All right, man, got a load of corn here. Grilling that corn on the back while they ride, and they just slow roll it. Anybody wants some corn, they're going to pull over and get a nice piece of grilled corn. They got butter. They'll put some butter and salt on there. Oh, man, it's making my mouth water right now. Today, folks, I'm shooting on this GoPro 10. I figured out one more way to keep this thing from overheating, and this is, I think, the definitive way to keep your GoPro from overheating. I told you before, if you just plug it into a power bank, run it on the power bank, I mean, it's quite obvious that the battery will last a lot longer. That's not why I do it. I do it because the thermal shutdown will last about three times longer than if you're just running it on an internal battery. But when I was in the PI, I said, let me see if this son bunch will work without putting a battery in it altogether. And I had a uh, small power bank and it didn't have enough, it didn't have enough uh, amperage. And it said, you know, get, put one with a bigger amperage. So I get home and I get out my good power bank and sure enough, you 
take the battery out of the GoPro, plug it into a power bank with enough amperage, and this thing will run. There's no battery in there to get hot, because that's what gets hot. Usually when I come home, the first thing I do is, is take the battery out of the GoPro, and it's so hot that it would, it would burn you. So I've taken the battery out of the equation altogether. Now that's not going to work if you're trying to snowboard, but if you're doing uh, long walking tours or long uh, motorbike rides, well, guess what? Just get you a big old power bank. Get you a big old power bank and plug it in, take the battery totally out, and this thing is not overheating. tested it out yesterday went a couple hours not not one time did it overheat so holding at the red ball here did I say patty a clong I meant patty a tie We're on patty a tie at third road patty a tie at Saisam basically just going to come up here to soy bacow whip a right hand turn and roll down soy bacow see what's happening i was here january and february and it was off the chain and patio just wow it was rocking and rolling middle of the high season and folks the high season how do i describe it basically if, if it's cold in canada it's the high season here you know, you got the high season, everybody flocks here. And so now we're getting into the low season, the rainy season, you know, when it's summer over there in the west. Well, it's considered the low season here. So there seems to be a lot less folks here. I'm just stating the obvious, but I'm just telling you what the atmosphere is. Song Cron just finished. The Thai New Year and the Water Festival that that just finished so obviously a lot of people showed up for that and have cleared out so anyhow that's just my initial thoughts three two one get the fresh green let's rock and roll always wait it's common sense always wait and make sure nobody else is coming through that intersection don't trust the light that's common sense but especially in Southeast Asia that thing turns red a lot of times there's other folks coming through so don't just pay attention to the light pay attention to what's coming down the road all right got the friendship supermarket off to the left and then we're right here patty a tie easy song soy bacow wow beautiful lady off to the left my goodness wow so pretty older bird too That's the thing about Thai, Thai women folks, they age so gracefully. I mean, you marry a girl in her early 20s and when she's 55, she'll still be smoking hot the way she was in her 20s. Uh, ladies from other countries, other cultures, don't, don't seem to age as gracefully. I say Thai women are number one. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. So coming down Soy Bacow, you've never been to Patia. You know, there's Walking Street over there. Obviously all the tourists are gonna hit Walking Street. Go goes over there, premium prices. But everybody who lives here hangs out over here on Soy Bacow. That's my opinion. 
one man's opinion. How the hell I know? So it's early in the day. Early in the day, so the you know the massage shops are open. A lot of the bars don't get going until around two. This red hot and blue, oh my goodness. I stepped in there back in January and I had a great time. That's all I'm gonna say. If you're anywhere near that little bar, it's near the Dabua Patia Hotel. Stop in that little bar. It's a good time. Wow, another beautiful lady. Beautiful ladies at the massage shop off to the left here. Patia City Hospital off to the right. Got some good looking food over there in those food carts. This uh, Cheap Charlie's bar and restaurant got a crowd sitting out there. Must have some good food going on. This little place to the left, if you just want to sit and watch a busy, busy intersection, that's a great little place. Self serve, just go get your beer and pay. No waitresses. And the beer is uh, cheap. Great people watching intersection right there. All right, motorbike rental. There's Brown Sugar. Every time I go by there, reminds me of my old girlfriend. Used to work at Brown Sugar. A sick Buffalo Bar. Okay, the VIP health massage over there. And off to the left here, a little area called Tree Town. And you know what? I'm gonna cut the corner in time without crashing. Since there's not much going on, no music in the background. Just kind of cut through this little Tree Town area. This tree town area, I don't know exactly when it opened. I remember when they started building it, but this is sort of a new bar complex area. If you haven't been here in a few years, you know, this has opened uh, fairly recently in the grand scheme of things. So it's another hopping little area. This sort of makes a square. I'll cut through here. Area 52 bar and restaurant, cool. Again, folks, I'm early in the morning, okay? I'm early in the morning. That's why there's not tons of girls and customers and everything else. Ass 95 bar, Sluts, Danny's Sports Bar, Candy. This place over here, a little tiki themed. But yeah, folks. Sometimes uh, when you're when you're doing uh, like walking tours and there's the buzzing bar, buzz in bar. Sometimes when I'm doing these little tours, I like to come when everything's closed, so I can just kind of look, be slow. Nobody's worried about the camera. 30 baht per hour if you're going to park in there. Candy Entertainment. So, so there you go. If you haven't been here in a few years, new little bar area, 
fairly new little bar area called Tree Town. Some of you old school players that haven't been here in a while. You get all these questions asked all the time, right? Where to go, where to stay. And folks, Patty is so vast. So much to do and see. It's hard to give a quick answer, right? Where to go party? Soy Bacow. <laughs> okay. Where to stay? Oh my goodness. Another little eating area off to the left. There's Witherspoons. Right around the corner here is where I get some Mexican. It's part of Witherspoons, I guess. Senor Taco off to the right side. Ooh, that lady's got some rotisserie chicken. Lichon Manoke. When you get down to the end, it's mostly uh, barber shops. Not well, at the very end, yeah. There's a lot of barber shops down here on the end, massage parlors. So if you're looking for haircut, shave, massage, you come way down here to the end. I say they got the best prices. Lovely lady. Last time I did a uh, motorbike tour down through here. Now there's a lot more people, a lot more girls out. YouTube uh, limited ads this video. So I'm hoping this one doesn't. There's not really anything going on. Now, on the left here, there's a barbershop. Looking for a good haircut. Right here it says enjoy barbershop. 150 to 180 on the haircut, 150 on the shave, and there's a beautiful lady in there, cuts my hair, does a great job. Shout out to you, Dawn. And then if you're looking for a manicure pedicure, right here to the left, it's a sign that says hair and beauty. Uh, for men and women the signs and ties so I'm not going to confuse you but if you're an expat uh, go in there see a uh, pin and Ben two ladies speak English very well and they cater to us farongs I don't want to say cater but they speak English speak English very well and they do a great manicure, pedicure, especially if you're a dude. So it's right over there to the right. It says, uh, haircut for men and women, hair and beauty. And it's right across. Let me give you where it's right across from. From this Puna. So if you see that, well, sort of across. No, it's across from the Rolex place, the watch shop. That's exactly where it's across from. And you can go in there. Get a manicure, pedicure, step out, stop by, enjoy barbershop, get you a haircut, and you will be high stepping down soy bacow. And the good thing is you're at you're at the patio clung end of soy bacow, so you get that haircut, get, get all slicked out with your manicure, pedicure, get all refreshed and ready to go for the ladies, and, and you're at one end of a soy with uh, plenty of beautiful ladies. You just you just high step out of there and hit the bricks. Beautiful older lady right there. I'd say she's probably in her mid to late fifties. Looking good here in Patia, Thailand. More barbershops right through here. You know, about 150 haircut, 150 on the shave. Uh, prices here, prices here in Thailand. I mean, everything is relative, right? If 
here trying to compare it over to the PI. Costs a little bit more, but the level of service is um, uh, totally different. It's, it's worth the money. It's all relative. But you, you get a haircut here, you walk out feeling like you got you had an experience. Okay, anything new? Doesn't look like anything majorly new. But anyhow, over there in the, off to the right up here, Tree Town, that's where I gotta go see, gotta go see my friend later on. spots right in there in Tree Town. And Tree Town's across from this McDonald's. Across from this uh, Mickey D's right here to the left. Open 11 a.m. to 5 a.m. That thing stays open late. Wow, pretty lady. Yeah, the banks are closed today. Beautiful lady sitting out at the massage shop. Sugar. Maybe it's not brown sugar. Maybe it's just sugar. I could have sworn my spot was called brown sugar. Brown sugar. You know you look so good. And there's a spaghetti spot, a burger shop, chicken kebabs, right there to the right at, at that little perch right there where you can just... Just go over there, grab your beer out of the cooler. Not bothered uh, by anybody. Just sit there and chill. Talk to your buddy. And again, it's cheap prices. Don't got to worry about tipping the waitresses because there ain't none. At least there wasn't before. Stocking up the 7-Eleven. Coke green, go weed. Again, uh, marijuana is legalized. Weed is legalized here in Thailand. Perfectly legal. Now, you can't smoke it walking down the street. There are some uh, rules. But there's weed shops basically everywhere, so if that's your flavor. Then this is the place you need to come to. So just a beautiful morning, just a beautiful morning, riding this iron horse up and down the streets of Padia. Action Street. So there you go, folks. There's there's your tour, Soy Bacow, early on a Monday morning. I say early, before noon on a Monday morning. Obviously, this place comes alive in the afternoon. The last time I drove up and down this thing in the afternoon, YouTube limited, limited ads on my video. Not suitable. 
Too much tits and ass hanging out, I reckon. I don't know why they did it. Too many titties, I reckon. Skinny jean wearing dudes over at YouTube and Google, they're not, they're not down with looking at beautiful ladies, I reckon. I read this study, it said U.S. teenagers only something like less than 75% of them identify as being uh, heterosexual. At least 25% of them are either other or fucking confused. Either way, ain't interested in chasing women. Now, big problem with America. When men stop being interested in chasing the beautiful ladies, that's a problem. Go right ahead, beautiful. I'll sit there and wait all day and hold up traffic all damn day long for you. Right. Okay, so back on Patio Thai, headed towards the vicinity of Walker Street. See what's shaking. GoPro still going strong, no thermal shutdown, because it ain't got one of them, them bloated, cheap ass, low quality GoPro batteries inside of it. Them batteries swell up so big that you can't, either can't get them out, you gotta dig them out with a butter knife, and then you can't get them back in. It just gets so hot. Beautiful ladies. Got the temple off to the right side of the aircraft. I miss going to the temples with my Thai wife. You know, it's a totally different experience if you, you know, you go and you experience local culture with locals. I mean, I'm being Captain Obvious, but when uh, you know, when I'm with my Thai wife or my Thai girlfriends in the past, it's it's a different experience going to the temples. And you try to go by yourself, just as a falong. You know, it's not the same experience. It's being Captain Obvious, but. And it's not that she was always a great teacher. <laughs> I'd ask so many questions. I'd be like, what's this? What's the significance of this? Why do we do this? How, what's the history on this? And all you'd get was, shh, tilak, you not talk. <laughs> oh, shit. Shout out to you, man. You're a great lady. Hope everything's going well in your life with your new husband. Wow. To be honest. Folks, I ain't, I ain't talked to her in so long. I don't know if she's still married, unmarried. Probably got a bunch of kids. I don't know. Got no contact with her. Either way, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're doing well. All right. S sneak in and out here. I'm not going to go all the way down to Central. Gonna cut down soy 13 tack 3. So I just turned off the second road and then you're headed over here to Beach Road. And when you turn down, you get closer, the temperature just drops. Nice cool breeze coming off of that beautiful Patia Bay. And we're just going to ease over on a left hand turn here. Beautiful out there today. Few, well, now I, may, I had to look back a little farther. Probably about eight parachutes in the sky. And 
And I got the patio beer garden over here to the right calling my name. I'll probably be there this evening. Usually that's the first place I go, but I had, had some things to do, so I haven't made it over there yet. Right here to the right, patio beer garden. Just walk down that alley, past those bars, don't be shy. And it'll take you to paradise. Underneath the world famous walking street sign. And again, folks, I like I like driving through these areas in the off hours. So I can take my time and look. Look at the signs. If you're looking to look at beautiful ladies, there's so many people walking up down these streets every night. There's plenty of videos out there for you to choose from. Plenty of people making making their videos every night. I just like to look at the signs and see what's, what's this, Monroe Russian Girls Club? Just to see what the changes are. Get Lucifer off to the right side of the aircraft. Oh my goodness. I look in that place and it takes me back 13 years ago. A lot of good times in that, that club. Lucifer used to be the place to go. I mean, it's still good nowadays. But back in the day, that was the center of gravity on the street, was Lucifer. Wow, got some beautiful painting here on uh, Walker Street. I don't remember that last time. I guess it is because it's older. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. A little flower power type painting. There's insomnia off to the right. Eye bar. Okay, you got a lot of wire in here. Hanging low. And folks, Thailand, you see these wires, right? Now, room wasn't built in a day, but you go around to a lot of areas and they're starting, I don't say starting, they, they're going to, you know, underground utilities and cleaning up the power lines. Progress. And a couple Russian spots here. Well, I'm assuming the Nasha is a Russian place. The other spot's Russian. My Russian friends hanging out, chilling. I think I can still say that and not get banned. But yes. I have Russian friends. No, I don't consider Russia my enemy. The U.S. government doesn't tell me who my enemies are. I can decide that for myself. So, there's a lot of Russians here in Padia, if you're not familiar. A lot of Russians live here, especially after this conflict started. You see a lot of young Russian couples here. That are that are living here, not just on, you know, on holiday. Don't want to get into that debate, but back there in Vietnam, plenty of people went to Canada. And again, I don't want to open up the debate. I'm just saying, it seems like there's a lot of young Russian couples here with their children that are living here more than before okay off to the right is uh, Bali High Pier the automated parking garage off to the right coming up on the world famous Patia City sign beautiful 7-eleven off to the left And 
folks, I haven't got my bearing enough to even know uh, what's going on in the hood as far as festivals. You know, I was on Jump Teen yesterday and there was a, a rowing competition. There's always something going on here in this town. It's like Vegas, but better. You know, every year there's jet ski competitions, there's concerts all the time. The only thing I saw yesterday in my little brief ride through John T. M. Beach, they had a rowing competition out there on uh, John T. M. Beach. Okay, so I was trying to cut through there, but you know what? I can't even get through there. I'm gonna cut through the marina area. I can't do it. So I guess I'll be banking left with the rest of the traffic headed up this hill in the direction of the, uh, the go-kart place. Okay. Uh, who's gonna win the race? Come on, man, go ahead. You go right ahead, sir. Go right ahead. So if you saw my videos before, I'm doing that walking tour. I stopped over here on the left side at this, uh, whoa, get up on, man. Uh, easy cart off to the left here. Little go-kart place. Underneath this bridge. I guess I'll stay over here on the right so I can show you. Could go left, get around the traffic, but I'll show you. Underneath this bridge, you got basketball courts. Uh, anyhow, recreation areas that they've fenced in underneath the bridge. So they're shaded, nice and cool. Oh, but it looks like the basketball, well, just off of that one. So that's basketball court there. There's more little exercise areas up here. Caught a red ball. Anyhow, a good use of the bridge and the natural shade. Put some exercise areas. All you gotta do is put up some fencing. I'm gonna go ahead and bank right. Actually, I'm gonna bank right. I'm gonna head up the hill. Gotta have a little bit of horsepower to get up this hill here. The Dream's got plenty of horsepower on it. Another beautiful patio sign. All right, banking right. A beautiful park right there. So, so much green space here in Thailand, flowers, uh, you know, garden type areas. Take her down into second gear, I got too slow. Too slow on my airspeed. Get the airspeed up, now I'm shifting to three. Okay, so up here, if you take a right, that's where my coffee shop on the hill. Coffee break patio. You go up that hill, off, sort of off to the hard right. And to the left is the Big Buddha, up that hill. Now we're over here on Pratamnak. Pratamnak is uh, a lot of Russian folks stay here over here on Pratamnak. This is where I stumbled into that hard eight saloon. And we'll just take a ride down Soy, soy 3, Soy Sam. See what's shaking. Or, no, not Soy 3. I stand correct, it's not Soy 3. What is it, Soy 5? Shit. 
Yeah, I think that's where I needed to be right there. So I'll just whip a Yui. There you go. Soy 4. Soy C. Lotus Guest House. It's just a beautiful day here in Patia, Thailand. Oh my goodness. It's nice and cool. It's a nice cool breeze. You get over here by the water and it's just it's like free air conditioning right now. Okay, so let me try to narrate this real quick. You have to go back and watch the previous video where I came over here and ate at this Mexican spot. Well, the question is, am I, am I on the right soy? <laughs> New Nordic Marcus. That orange building's Marcus building. Am I on the right soy or do I need to be on soy five? I think I need to be on soy five. I was about to narrate, and I was in the wrong damn soy. That's okay. Right there's a place called Human Strong Gym. And over here to the left is a little golf course. Asia Patia Hotel. Right, look, they got a full house. Okay, you know what? And let me just give you a look. Now, I did a video years ago about this place up in Bangkok. They got one here, and they got one. I don't know how many they got, but I, I did the, the video at the one in Bangkok. My first trip here long time ago we came and ate at this place it's called cabbages and condoms restaurant uh, and then the birds and the bees resort and I'll tell you what we're right up in there but there's a story behind this I told the story in that Bangkok video but you go there and there's condoms everywhere and the objective uh, make sure I tell the story right a doctor founded it with the intent of like de demystifying people about condom use he's trying to improve safe sex right he just didn't want people to be embarrassed or shy about buying condoms and so this is part of it and like I said I don't know the, the exact story because I'm not looking at any reference material, but you know, how do you how do you how do you get people to to use condoms and exercise safe sex? Well the first thing you gotta do is take the taboo out of it. And so over to the left here is the cabbages and condoms restaurant. I'm about to get runned over, but let me spin around, I'll give you a look down in the middle of there. Okay, right there, some folks coming out. Uh, anyhow, the first thing you got to do is remove the taboo. I mean, how many of us in our early years, when you go to the pharmacy, you know, our early early years when we were shy, and you were too shy to to ask the the beautiful pharmacist for some a box of condoms, right? So you walked out of there too shy to get them you end up catching the clap you gotta remove the taboo 
I don't know where they keep the rubbers in America, but here, you know, it's right up by the counter. It's easy. Just grab a box and throw them on top of your potato chips. No big deal. But understand, you know, some people are shy about things like that. I'll take y'all there to eat one day. Cabbages and condoms. Cool. A little bar down here on the end. Got smoothies. 40 baht. Hill Beach Patio Hotel. All right, now basically, get sort of at the end of the soy. So I need to get over to soy five. I'll come back up soy five, check on the hard eight in my Mexican place. Nice little local spot there. Yeah, that hotel is packed out. Cars all over the parking lot. Folks, direct sunshine shining down on the GoPro. Now it's not 100 degrees out. But direct sunshine, and this thing is still motoring on. The key to it is just take the damn batteries out, throw that shit away, and just plug in a power bank. A power bank with enough amperage. Can I cut through here? I think so. If I had Fatima on the back, she'd be saying, no, 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 you're trespassing. She does not like to explore. <laughs> she likes to go places that she knows where we're going. Land for sale right there. What a great location. <laughs> Cute little dog taking a 10 100. Beautiful yellow flowers. Plenty of condos down in this area, Pratamnak area. I guess I could have went down to the end and came over one more, but this is getting me to where I want to go. Straight ahead is that tower. You can go off the top of that tower on one of those cables. That shit ain't for me. They had some shit like that. Well, in the, in the PI, I'm not going off zip lines or nothing like that. With my luck, the minute I get on one of them fucking zip lines, it'd be the biggest ass earthquake. Topple the towers, the trees. <laughs> Alright, Pratamnak Night Market off to the right side. What the hell did I do? I think I need to be one more soy over. That's bad when you make a video about a place in an area. Two months later, you can't even remember how to get back there. <laughs> I know how to get there, but Little Norway condominium. I'm going around my elbow to get to my ass. Condos right there with a little pool in the middle. Abacus Villa and South Beach Condos off to the right. Off to the left, that place is for sale or rent. And a coffee tree. Okay. Let 
Maybe I have to call this the uh, wandering tour of Pratamnak. Moonlight Hill. Siam Oriental Condos. But y'all believe I just rode around all over Pratamnak and never even got to where I wanted to go. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm not ready to go down and I'm not ready to make nice. <laughs> I've got sirens coming. Get over to the left here. Coming up from the rear. Pull up here and get out of the way. Oh cool, this is a cool place right here. This is uh, Ogara's Bar and Grill. We've got Guinness. Ogara's Bar. All right, see if we can't climb this hill without running into this gentleman. Now this is where the hill I needed to be the whole time. Soy high. <laughs> Soy high. That's where that uh, rescue truck or whatever, whatever we got going on, turned down soy high. Wow, master barbershop. Okay, they're waiting on some more units wherever they're going. Chicken, chicken, bar and restaurant, high five, saloon. Gentlemen, what is laundry? That's how you pick up your laundry on a motorbike. Be all nice and folded for you. All right, so I'm going back by the night market. Lady with some ink, my goodness. Off to the right. Now we're getting down into the action. Wake me up when I'm famous. Little bars. What's up, girl? Okay. Coming up on my little Mexican spot here to the left. Chicha, Mexican restaurant. And then off to the right is the Hard Eight Saloon. Looks like they're just now. Kuya's opening up the lock on the Hard Eight Saloon. And you got a couple massage shops. Cool little area through here. Beautiful view. All right, check this out. Big old 7-Eleven, right? Nice parking lot off to the left. Seven Elevens are just as important to us here in Thailand as Walmart is important to you in the States.
That's the importance of 7-Eleven here. You come down here to the end, and what do you have? Another 7-Eleven. Beautiful 7-Eleven. The 7-Elevens here, folks, they're, they're, not, they're not just a convenience store. I mean, this place, these 7-Elevens here, I showed you all this before, but look, you got tables. You can go in 7-Eleven, buy you a beer, some food, coffee, just sit out here and enjoy the view. It's the beachfront 7-Eleven. Really nice. Like I said, they're just as important as Walmart to Americans. And we're basically snaking our way over to John Tien Beach. Last time I did this tour, I came from the other direction. There's plenty of room through here, but you know, when you get cars and motorbikes parked, you gotta go three wide. Well, patience. You're at the beach. Why well, get in a big hurry? Beautiful shaded area underneath these trees out here. You know, Patia Beach, John Tien, they used to have a lot more trees back in the day. You know, they extended the beach, took out some of the trees. But like right through here, this is the way it used to look. Not everywhere, but you know, there, there's a lot of trees, not a lot of room to walk. But you know, things change, times change. They've extended the beach out, it's beautiful plenty of room out on the beach now but at the expense of taking out some of these trees this is just so cool for me because for the longest time the road ended right here it was just nothing but a pile of rubble what have you you couldn't you couldn't pass there unless you were on foot all right so the water park is uh, going full steam here this is one of several water parks here in the patio area got water slides and all kind of stuff for the children you know this is sort of a smaller older water park you go south of Patia down there, showed you before. You got two huge water parks, you know, with the elaborate slides and, you know, taller stuff. But if you got small children, just bring them right here. But if you're looking for a, a huge thrill, you need to go down and hit Ramayana Water Park or, uh, it used to be called Cartoon Zone. What is it now? I forget. It's, uh, Something to do with the movie industry, I think's the name of it. Anyhow, several water parks around here. Okay, got officers out patrolling, checking, making sure everybody's safe here in Patty, Thailand. Or the regulatory officers. You know, I didn't pay attention. Anyhow, shout out to the police. Wow, that place is packed out. Not even right on the beach. I like this restaurant. Uh, you know what? That's not. It's right here. It's on up a bit. I thought that was the sandbar. It's not. The sandbar's up here. Gentleman over there rocking a red speedo. Shout out to you, my friend. Let it hang, brother. 
Gotta give me a new speedo. Like I told the old lady, the, the bigger her butt gets, the smaller the Daisy Duke shorts I'm buying for. It's a scientific equation. So the bigger my belly gets, the smaller the speedo I'm gonna buy. Man, it's a beautiful day. It's a great day to be alive, my friends. Back at the crib, I got three big sing highs in the torpedo tubes, flooded, ready, hot and ice and cold. The minute I get off this motorbike ride and dump this footage, while that footage is dumping, I'm gonna be cracking open a cold BS sing. Sandbar by the sea, right here to the left, right up here underneath this tree nice shady area uh, that's one of my little go-to spots been going to for years and those of y'all who uh, lived here a long time maybe they still do remember back in the day they had salsa lessons uh, I can't remember was it Sundays Anyhow, there was a time period where they had salsa lessons there at that sandbar by the sea. Maybe they still do. I, I don't know, because I ain't been in there. But I can tell you, back in the day, used to go watch salsa and do a little salsa dancing. All right, passing the ugly boat off to the right. That's what me and Doc Wayne call that uh, monument back when they were building it. Not now, it's beautiful, but when they were building it, it was just a concrete structure. Nobody knew what it was going to be. And Doc Wayne's like, like, hey man, where do you want me to meet you? He's like, eh, meet me in John Tina Beach by that uh, ugly boat thing. I'm like, all right. It's beautiful now. But when it was under construction, it wasn't. It's like a duckling, like the ugly duckling that turned into a swan. Okay, folks, off to the left is Soy High, Soy 5, John Tien Soy 5, right here where this blue sign is that says immigration. So if you're a Falong here, you either know this soy very well, or if you're just moved here, you will get to know that soy very well. That's where immigration is here in Pattaya. Say jump in soy ha. They'll take you to immigration. That's all you gotta do. And shout out to everybody over there working at immigration. Alright, so uh so I got a full house at John Tien Beach already. On Sundays on Sundays, you know, everybody goes to the beach. A lot of families load up, they go to the beach. And if you're looking for a uh, parking spot, these little beach areas on Sundays, you gotta hunt for one. But what you do, you come over here to the left, down these si side soys, and there's places to park. And they'll charge you like 30 baht, 60 baht, whatever. A couple, do couple dollars. Alright, now I know the view might be limited due to all this traffic. You can't see over there on the beach, but there's so many cars parked over there, you can't see the beach anyhow. What is this? La Roma Beach Cafe and Restaurant. Beautiful little bar area there. And folks here, they're, they're, it's not like, you know, certain beach areas where you got a lot of places right on the sand, right on the water. You know, Patia Beach, John Tent Beach, 
uh, there's no buildings right on the water. You have the beach, you have beach road, then you have the buildings. That's the way it is. If you want something right on the beach, right on the water, uh, well, you check out my video. You go north to Nakua or south to a place like Drifters Beach Cafe. And Drifters is definitely calling my name. I got to get down there, drink me some cold beer, enjoy the view, and get me a pizza. Got a wood fired oven. I used to do my live streams at Drifters because they had fast internet. I didn't have fiber at my crib at the time. So my first live streams were Sunday mornings sitting there at Drifters Beach Cafe because they had fast enough internet to pull it off. Nice people, great food, and it's right on the water beautiful the folks I think I'm going to conclude this little tour this, I, maybe I just call it a wandering patio tour a tour to nowhere but I gave you a look at Soy Bacow, Walking Street Prattamnack Hill John T. M. Beach but I'm getting thirsty and I don't drink and dry. Uh, you come over here to Southeast Asia, rent a motorbike. Don't don't be drinking and driving. There's no sense in it because motorbike taxis are so cheap. Um, you know, let's just let's just talk honestly. You know, uh, 15 years ago, nobody cared. But now, folks, the cops got uh, alcohol sensors. They will take you to jail for DUI here. It's not, it's not like in the old days, right? It's not the wild, wild west here anymore. So I got a sing high with my name on it, but it's at the crib, and so that's where I'm going. I'm going to park this iron horse and drink me some beer. And when I go out later, I'll just jump on a uh, motorbike taxi and then go walk about. And the good thing, too, I don't got to worry about parking my motorbike. this bus a double-decker bus these buses here are like flying first class you know they're different configurations inside but even the regular buses like down the, the bottom floor is like the VIP area it's like you're sitting in lazy boys and then the top deck is like coach and it's worth a few extra dollars to sit down below man the last time I was on a bus headed north to east Sun, you know in the VIP section they give you a blanket, a couple bottles of water. It's like you're on a flight. That's what Thailand has going for, well, one of many things, but their transportation system is wonderful. I mean, the trains, my favorite mode of transport here in Thailand is taking the train. I love taking the train. Especially you get that sleeper unit. Oh my goodness, love taking the train. It's a great way to tour the country. Because you got a huge window with the countryside going by. The buses, they're wonderful. Thailand's transporta transportation system just it can't be beat. If you're complaining about anything like that here in Thailand, you, you haven't been many places. That's my opinion. go to the PI and try to ride that train that goes through Manila let me just take a look at it you don't even have to ride it just look at it when it goes by there's so many people standing up on that train it looks like the fucking Bataan death march it's not a pleasant experience here in Thailand the trains the buses is very pleasant experience gentleman over here rocking it out selling some beach goods and caught up at this red ball
And you see where I'm parked. I'm parked in this green section. So you have the place where the cars are supposed to stop, right? And then right in front of that, you got enough area for motorbikes to stop. It's painted green. And then this crosswalk is blue. Some places it's red. But the green section, and it'll say MC, that's where you pull up. You pull up in front of the cars. That's motorcycle staging area waiting on the red light to turn green. Get around you, brother. Thank you. Man, look at this traffic. Traffic means freedom. Okay, another little market area off to the left. There's little market areas will get get fired up at night. You know, some of them two o'clock, three o'clock, somewhere in there. Once the sun goes down, starts getting cool. Got that dog riding shotgun. Got a nice comfy pillow or cushion. That dog's ass is more comfortable than mine is right now. Let me get up there so you can see him. What has he got? A damn Sealy Posturopedic My Pillow? What's he got? That, that dog's riding in style. I gotta get up here before she turns off, get you a view of this here dog. There he is right there. Yeah, he got a, he got a better seat than I do. Usually I don't pass people like that, but I wanted to get you a uh, Go ahead, Don. I'm going to get you a view of that dog's pillow. Links I go to bring quality entertainment. You know, folks, I may take it all the way to the end of John Tien Beach because I'm doing two things. This wandering patio tour is giving you a, a holistic look, a, a big picture look at the atmosphere and the terrain here but also this darn GoPro is still recording as long as this footage don't glitch or you lose audio then I'm just here to tell you the solution to a GoPro is to take out the battery and plug it into a power bank don't even have a battery internal in the GoPro That battery is the heater that causes most of the problems. Like I'm touching it right now, and the side is warm, but it's not burning my finger. The screen's a little warm on the front, but if I have that battery in there, it, it'd be so hot you can't touch it. All right, that's it, folks. That's it. I'm cutting a left turn here, following this here vehicle. Maybe not. Got so much traffic here, it might be better to head out the other way. Okay, it's the tour that just won't give up. So there you go, see? The green area here is the motorbike staging area. The blue is actually the pedestrian. So we'll take you to the to the entire end of John Tien Beach because I don't want to sit in that traffic up there trying to get to Superbent Road. I'll come down to it here to the end and I won't sit in no trap. Okay. 
got a little motorcycle action going on. And a gentleman coming across with some Papa Yet Poke Poke. A little song time. My buddy Doc Wayne, he likes song time. Sometimes just never I just it's just an acquired taste that I never acquired. Just one of them things. If your lady's from Isan, she's eating sometime every day. It's like a her uh, it's like a drug. They don't get sometime one day, man, it's a cranky Thai lady till they get their hands on some sometime. But I never acquired the taste for it. Papaya pop pop. Cafe Lamar. It's a pizza place. Throughout the years, ate there several times. Pretty good pizza. Just another one of our spots we used to come to. Nice view of the water. And just crawling through here. Yeah, so if you can't find a spot here right on the beach, just, just cut down one of these side soys. You'll find a place to park. Street food, the big market, John Tien Soy 16, right next to the 7 Eleven. Little market area. 1669 restaurants. Like I said, folks, if you if you ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner at a different restaurant every day. You, you wouldn't be able to hit all the restaurants here in the patio area. You eat out at a different restaurant three times a day. How many days would it take you? I don't know if you'd ever get it done. You couldn't be an old man to get it done. You have to be young. <laughs> like 18, 30... <laughs> 33 years later, okay, yeah, I ate at every restaurant in Patia and John Tien. Took me, took me 18 years to do it, but I did it. We still got about a, what, about a click to go. I think from one end of John Tien to the other, what, what did I say before? Is it five kilometers? I always get this mixed up. Because I used to run down here. And I would run down and back. And I think it's 10 clicks. Is that right? Or is it 8 clicks? <laughs> I used to do that run all the time. I can't remember. Why? Because it's been so long and now I'm a fat bag of donuts. I don't know if I could... I don't know if I could make that. Or it's just going to give you a different angle on the dangle. Maybe try to jockey some track position here. I've only got four cars in front of me. If I can get around these four cars, i got nothing but open pavement. Vespa. One of these days, folks, 
I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not big on, I, I don't really don't want to ever own a car again, to be honest with you. The Philippines, I kind of joke around about buying a multi-cab, a 4x4 multi-cab. At some point, that thing would make its way down to the old lady's village, you know. Benefit the village. Okay, Lumpini Park Beach off to the left, condos. But I really don't want to ever own a car again. It's just, just too much, too much of a headache when you don't have to have one. But I do like my iron horse that I got now. It's sort of retro. Now off to the left is uh, Just Burgers. Man, got a full house. That's awesome to see. If you want an American style hamburger, cooked on the barbecue grill, like a backyard burger, go right there to the left to uh, Just Burgers. I had a friend who worked there for years and I just looked over there and I didn't see her. I don't have any way to get a hold of you, darling. Uh, we used to go there all the time to Just Burgers, chat with my friend. She's married to a felon. Uh, anyhow, so I, I like this iron horse that I got. Yes, sir. But if I ever wanted to get another motorbike, the only thing I'd be interested in getting is a Vespa. There's just so much fashion and style. It's like the Harley. Vespas are like the Harley of motorbikes. They got everything from fashion to style to nostalgia. That's the best way to describe it. Vespa is the Harley Davidson of motorbikes. And I'd love to have one. But I love the bike that I got right now. This thing's got a lot of power. It runs like a scalded dog. And it's got that retro look to it. I think when people see this motorbike coming down the road, it, it reminds them it reminds them of their grandfather's motorbike, right? There's some nostalgia involved. Another beautiful little cafe underneath the shade tree. And just like that, we're coming up on the end. There's a place to the left up here called Sense. Place used to have the big bean bags. Now they got little tables. Still a cool spot. Called Sense of the Sea. Uh, John Tien Chalet. What a nice piece of property right there. Okay, so a Sense of the Sea off to the left. Summer house patio, and then just like that, we're at the end here. This uh, restaurant with the crab is uh, very popular. Excellent seafood. If you're looking for some of the best seafood, this is a place that we went to throughout the years, and it is very popular. Just look for the big blue crab out here. And as you can see, it's a Monday. Now this is sort of a holiday, but I mean, it's already packed. It's already got a good crowd, about 80% capacity. Great food there and great food down here on the end. Now for a time, this place on the end had tables out on the sand, but I think they uh, weren't allowed to do that. I don't think they have seats on the sand anymore. I'm not sure. But this is another popular place. So if you're looking for good seafood in uh, John Tien, just come all the way to the end. Two very popular options down here on the end. Let's see, folks. Is my audio still working? I hope so. I'm running off a of wireless audio so I can control the volume better. So this entire trip, the GoPro hasn't done a thermal shutdown and my wireless audio, which is running off of batteries, everything seems to be still holding in place. I'm running it off a uh, Hollyland Lark 150 wireless system with a Sennheiser uh, lapel mic mounted in my helmet. 
Mm. It'd help if I got out of fourth gear. Big old load of beer. Oh my goodness, man. Can you please take that water, Leo, and sing hi over to my crib? I will unload it by myself. Y'all can sit back and sleep. Man, that was a lot of delicious looking beer. Okay, now the, the, the restaurant with the crab has got plenty of parking over there, but in the event they're full, there's plenty of parking back here. And there's an attendant standing out there uh, on duty, so if you need extra parking, just on this back side. All right, so enough looking at the vendor here. Get some horsepower, some air speed. Just a little speed bump. Every time I hit a speed bump at speed, it'll adjust the GoPro mount. Now back over in here, these little condos, this is a quaint little area. You got a 7-Eleven at the bottom of this little building here. Looks sort of, uh, what, Venetian? I think that might be the name of it. Anyhow, the building itself looks Venetian. Beautiful condo building. It's amazing what you can do to a building just by changing a little bit of the facade, and this is a good example. They put a little bit of that, uh, those roof tiles, just a little bit of, uh, I don't think that's real rock. I just changed, you know, what could have been a plain Jane building, just a little bit of design on the facade, and it's a beautiful little place right in there. Riviera Monaco off to the right. So back before these condos popped up, like way back in the day, right out here, like right in this area, you can still see some remnants, but people used to dump their trash out here. Well, there you go, speak of the devil, it still, still, still do. But there used to be, like you'd come through here, there'd be 18 dogs out there, and people would bring them food out here. You know, these soy dogs, people take care of these stray dogs here, call them soy dogs. There'd be like 18 dogs out there, plenty of food, no reason to try to chase nobody or bite nobody. You'd come through here every time them dogs would try to bite my passenger on the back, try to bite my lady. It's like running a gauntlet. I don't see any dogs out there now. It's not trash like they used to be. Okay, so we'll go down here and see what's shaking at these little restaurants. We're going to see what is shaking. So you're looking for something a little bit more local? If you're looking for something local, you got to get out of the Patia Beach and the John Tien Beach area, right? And just like that, you come one soy off of John Tien Beach and then you're sort of away from the masses and the hordes of tourists. And you can get a little bit more local. That's what you gotta do. It's, a, it's sort of the same way if you uh, just ease on into Naklua on the north side of Patia. You don't gotta go very far outside of, of those areas. You know, you get these little local spots. See what I'm talking about? Like this little spot right here. You can eat right here on the canal. Now, over to the left is the the bigger restaurant underneath that roof, but you can eat out here right on the canal. These little local spots. I don't know. For all I know, well, there's another one right there. See? For all I know, they're cooking in the big place. No, because they're doing some cooking right out here. Let's see, they got live shrimp, live 
looks like you get lobster in there. And I'll just sort of give you a look here. This is the canal. It runs out to the ocean. So see right down there is the end of John Tia Beach. That's why you got to cut a left. And then over on the far side, this land over on the far side you're looking at, now it dead ends into this peninsula. But to the left is where Drifter's Beach Cafe and a bunch of more restaurants are. And you got these gentlemen here working on uh, nets. And then you got some folks over there fishing on the other side on the canal. And the big difference here in Thailand is that you go fishing, you can actually catch fish. Now, if you're just joining me on this video, you don't know nothing about me or what I've been up to for the past few years. Well, obviously, if you go fishing, right, you think you can catch a fish. Well, unless you try to go fishing in Subic Bay. You go fishing in Subic Bay, you can try every which way to, but loose, and you ain't going to catch no fish uh, no bigger than uh, half your hand. We gave up on fishing in the Philippines, at least around the Subic Bay area. Well, in the, in the Cebu area. Pretty much anywhere I've been in the Philippines, I, I can't catch a fish because it's so fished out. Come over here to Thailand, you can actually catch a fish. Believe it or not. I'm gonna have to do some fishing. I think I got one fishing pole left. I think I got one fishing pole left, and maybe I'll just go fishing one night and show y'all how I can catch fish over here. Because a lot of y'all watch me and Eric go time and time and time again trying to catch fish around Subic Bay. And our ladies certainly don't have any faith in us as fishermen, but hey, when you're fishing in an empty fucking fishing hole, you can't blame the fishermen. <laughs> so I think I need to redeem myself and do some fishing. Over to the right, looks like a travel trailer uh, caravan lot. I don't know if that was, it looked like a dealership. Could be just storage. So anyhow, I'll put that on the radar to go fishing. If I can't catch some fish, I'll sit out there on the dock with some locals. Maybe bring a bring a bottle of blend 285. Okay, now right here, I've got to turn left. Yesterday I went up there and they got that blocked off. So if you're trying to get to Sukumvent Road from the back way out of John Tian Beach, you have to turn left here. You cannot go up there and turn left. Actually, what I did, it was kind of funny. I went up there, and you're for forced to turn left, and you end up in the public prosecutor's office, his building. <laughs> I'm like, this, this ain't where I want to be. I don't want to be at the public prosecutor's office. I'm sure they're nice people, but uh, not a place I want to find myself. So you got to turn around and come this direction. There's a, a detour. Now it's only if you're on the side road. If you're up on the main road, you're on the bridge. I mean, the main traffic is, is no problem. But if you find yourself down on sort of the feeder road, then you have to detour this back way. But uh, not the majority of the traffic. There's a new place here off to the left. I don't know exactly what it's about. It's called House of Benedict Patia. All vibes are welcome here. And they had a full house yesterday. And they got a full parking lot today. But I drove through there to try to get a view and you can't see. The entrance is in the in the back and without getting off the motorbike and going inside, I couldn't even see what was up. So if I took you through there, all, all I'd be able to show you is the parking lot. That's the thing about Thailand, especially Pattaya. You don't you don't go down a street in a, in a couple of months. You go down that street again. There's something brand new there almost every time. A little pond over here to the left. A good little fishing hole. Don't know. 
this little produce market. Big open lot right here. Prime real estate for something. And just like that, we're coming up to Sukhumvent Road. Sukhumvent Road is like the main road that runs through Pattaya. Get up here to the main drag. Matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and ease around these two vehicles. Come up here with my fellow chopper rider. Let's do it, dog. I'm right on your six, man. All right, folks, going visor down, jump on the hammer, gain some air speed. Off to the right, it's a Toyota dealership. And then up here, we'll be coming up on the uh, floating market. Now, bear in mind, it's, you know, sort of more of a tourist type activity. It's not a true floating market like you would get to in Bangkok. So if you're if you're planning your trip to Thailand, don't say, oh, they got a floating market in Pattaya. That's that's not the true experience. That's a, a lot of tour buses there. They bring the Chinese tourists there, let them walk around. But if you're planning on going to a floating market, you need to go to the one in Bangkok, where you'll get on a uh, on a long tail boat. They take you around. That's the true experience. The one here is not the true floating market experience. Just set your expectations. But you know, if you don't, man, GoPro mount get me pointed at the at the root uh, at the ceiling for some reason up at the sky. Fucking GoPro. You got the green all the way through. Yeah, folks, I'm gonna sign off of here. I'm going to call this the two-hour wandering patio motorbike tour. Maybe it was three hours. All I know is I'm thirsty and I'm going home to get a beer. I want to thank y'all for joining me. Uh, they say you're supposed to ask people to subscribe three times or they won't do it. But you know what the better thing is? is hey, watch another video. There you go. Save that click. Instead of clicking subscribe, just click watch another video. One of, one of more of our videos. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate y'all watching, listening to my voice. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off from the beautiful patty of Thailand, my friends. Peace out. gentleman right there the best dressed garbage men in the world right on a brand new garbage truck they got those uniforms they got different colors red orange blue they got every color different color for every day of the week